because this is the day the Lord hath made and we will rejoice and be glad in it. It's a wonderful day. There we are. God bless you. Good morning, cousin Trish. Good morning, brother Abram. Oh, how good and pleasant it is for brethren to dwell together in unity. And we are on top and rising. We are in the midst, hallelujah, of Resurrection Sunday. Hallelujah. And we are thanking the Lord for all that he has done for us. For the Lord has done great and marvelous things for us, Mother Ruby, whereof we are glad. God bless you. Good morning. Good morning. Good morning. Oh, give thanks unto the Lord, for he is good, and his mercy endureth forever. Well, welcome to the Gospel Truth Apostolic Ministry page. Hallelujah. And I pray that all of you, amen, are chiming in. Hallelujah. As we go forward, loving the Lord and doing great and marvelous things for him on this Resurrection Sunday. He lives, he lives, hallelujah. Christ Jesus lives today. And we're excited to know, hallelujah, that our Lord lives, hallelujah. And it's because he lives that we're here to say, it's high time to pray with Pastor Val. Hallelujah, I'm your host this morning, co-founder, pastor of the Gospel Truth Apostolic Ministry, Amen. Thanking the Lord, hallelujah, that we can cry loud and spare not, lift up our voice like a trumpet, and show people their sins. Why? So that they may repent and call upon the name of the Lord. For the name of the Lord is a strong tower and the righteous runneth therein, and they are saved. So we're excited today. The Lord continues to do great and marvelous things as we continue to go through the uh, book of 2 Corinthians. Amen. We do want to uh, state we'll be working from chapter 11, verses 12 through 15. Amen. Our theme or our prayer will be warning against false apostles and ministries. Amen. From that passage of scriptures, amen, the Lord is going to give us information so that we'll know how to pray. Hallelujah. And alert us, warn us against false apostles and ministries. This is a day and a time, amen, what it has been stated in the last day, there will be many false prophets. And I know you are seeing them all over the internet, all over the news, the many damnable things that people are doing under the name of pastor, preacher, teacher, apostle, evangelist, hallelujah, and prophet. So here we are with this passage of scriptures, and we're going to go right into, I know this is going to be an exciting Sunday for you guys, and I know you're going to hear a lot of messages on he arose hallelujah so this will get you started hallelujah as you are alert and well amen we're just grateful as we read the scripture second corinthians 11 verses 12 through 15 and it declares but i do that i will do that I may cut off occasion from them which desire occasion. Hallelujah. From them which desire occasion, that wherein they glory, they may be found even as we. For such are false apostles, deceitful workers, transforming themselves into the apostles of Christ. And no marvel, for Satan himself is transformed into the angel of light. Therefore, it is no great thing if his ministers also be transformed as ministers of righteousness, whose end shall be according to their work. I declare Apostle Paul is not playing today as he's not playing any day. Hallelujah, that he's telling us the word of God. 
hallelujah, that it is just time, hallelujah, and this is our prayer, Lord, help us to be alert, help us to be watchful, hallelujah, help us to have our ears perked to what we hear, what we see, why, so that we may know the warnings against false apostles and ministers. It's so important. Hallelujah. The Bible shared with us, hallelujah, that we will know them by the fruit they bear. Hallelujah. And I know it's popular in this day. Many say, oh, don't judge anybody. Don't judge. Well, hallelujah. The Bible say you'll know them by the fruit that they bear. So we want you guys to be alert. Hallelujah. We want you to be watchful because God has greatness in store for you. And he wants you to know. Hallelujah. He said in his word, them that labor among you, Mother Pierce. God said, hey, know them. Hallelujah. That labor among you. So we've got to be wise as serpents and harmless as doves. And this is what it'll be. Hallelujah. Why? Because we're going forward in God. We're going forward in him doing what he have ordained for us to do. And I believe that's going to lead us right into our prayer this morning. Hallelujah. As we continue to seek the voice of the Lord, as we continue to seek his heart, as we continue to know what the spirit of the Lord is saying unto the church. All right. Well, let us pray. Father God, in the name of Jesus, we thank you, Lord, for being our guiding light. We thank you, Lord, for being the captain of our souls. We thank you, Lord, for being the fairest of 10,000. We thank you, Lord, oh God, because we know that with you, Christ Jesus, we can do anything. We can do everything. Hallelujah, because you are with us. Father, we thank you, Lord, that as we go forward on today and forevermore, that we will be alert. Hallelujah, we will be watchful and we will pray. Hallelujah, why? Because there are warnings in this scripture for us against false apostles, false prophets, teachers, deceitful workers. And Father, we thank you for this passage of scripture that as we go forward, in these last and evil days that you will continue to help us be alert and watchful. Lord, we thank you, hallelujah, in your word, hallelujah, how you've allowed your angels to encamp round about us as we go forth doing great and marvelous works and deeds, hallelujah, for the people that they may glorify you in heaven. We thank you, Lord, even for blessing us with a wonderful night's slumber. Lord, we thank you, hallelujah, because it was you that looked down on us, hallelujah, all night long, watched over and protected us with your finger of love. We thank you, Lord, for your angels. We thank you, Lord, for all those that continue to look on us, hallelujah. We thank you, Lord, oh God, even for this transition from the uh, my personal page, Valerie D. Clark, to the gospel truth ministry page. We thank you, Lord, hallelujah, for all of those that have joined in, hallelujah, and we thank you, Lord, that they continue to do a great and a marvelous work for you, hallelujah. We thank you, Lord, hallelujah, because we know that because of you, hallelujah, that we are not consumed and we continue to do great and marvelous things, and it is our desire this morning, Lord, that as we continue to seek you, Hallelujah, that you will help us to go forward in you, that you will help us, hallelujah, to continue to fight the good fight of faith. Oh, God, we thank you, Lord. Hallelujah. Oh, God, because you are the mighty one. Hallelujah. We thank you, Lord. Hallelujah, because there's none like you. Hallelujah. And we thank you, Lord, that you have chosen us from the multitude of many. Hallelujah. And we thank you, Lord. Hallelujah. That as we go forth, hallelujah, praying your word, hallelujah, praying the scripture, hallelujah, that you will continue to give us insight. Hallelujah. And we thank you, Lord. Hallelujah. For Apostle Paul and for the writing 
oh God, that you have given him and ordained, hallelujah, for him to be one of your true apostles, the last of your true apostles. And Father, we thank you, Lord, hallelujah, that even as he goes forth in this chapter and this scripture, hallelujah, ah, hallelujah, he's just encouraging us. Hallelujah, watch, look out, be alert. Hallelujah, because this is, hallelujah, the day that many, hallelujah, are declaring Jesus, 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 but it's not Jesus Christ, the son of the living God. Oh, but we're the ones this morning, hallelujah, that's crying loud, hallelujah, showing people, hallelujah, that this true gospel, hallelujah, is the one that we must be identified with as we go forward in you. So, Father, we thank you, Lord Jesus, that you continue to help us, hallelujah, as we examine your word, continue to help us as we study your word, and, Father, continue to help us that in all that we do, hallelujah, that it will be pleasing unto you. And, Father, we pray, hallelujah, hallelujah, that uh, we will continue, hallelujah, to pursue Hallelujah, this life that we have pursued, been pursuing that is of you. Hallelujah. Ah, we pray, hallelujah, that uh, you will uh, give his our, our enemies occasion, oh God, as they do find fault. Hallelujah, that we know, hallelujah, your truth will stand in the end. Hallelujah. Oh, God, hallelujah. We pray, Lord Jesus, hallelujah. Oh, God, hallelujah. There's so many that are false prophets are interested only in money. Hallelujah. They conduct themselves as do, as that, and they take away, hallelujah, the money. Hallelujah. And that's why, hallelujah, oh, God, that we have to be alert to what's going on in this end time. And Father, we thank you, Lord, that as we continue, hallelujah, to pray your word, hallelujah, to dissect your word, hallelujah, that you have shared with us, that as we go forward, hallelujah, that there are uh, things that we can look for, amen, there are things, uh, signs and warnings, hallelujah, that we can see, hallelujah, and that we will note, hallelujah, and I'm going to uh, go through some of them. Of course, you could always replay the video. Hallelujah. I'm going to go through them rather swiftly. There's about uh, 15 of them. Hallelujah. The marks of false ministers. And this is according uh, to 2 Corinthians. They hold secret things of shame. 2 Corinthians 4, 2. They walk in craftiness. They handle the word of God deceitfully. Uh, 2 Corinthians 10, 3, they walk in war after the flesh. They look on outward appearance, 2 Corinthians 10, 7, Matthew 23, 27 through 28. Hallelujah. They commend themselves, 2 Corinthians 10, 12. They compare themselves to others, 2 Corinthians 10, 12. They pray, P-R-E-Y on works of others, 2 Corinthians 10, 15, 16. They're greedy of income, 2 Corinthians 11, verses 7 through 12. They are false, seek the highest offices, 2 Corinthians 11, 13. They're deceitful workers, 2 Corinthians 11, 13. Also, they're counterfeit apostleship, 2 Corinthians 11, 13. And then they pose as righteous ministers. That's 2 Corinthians 11, 12. They're boastful and self-exalting. 2 Corinthians eleven eighteen. They destitute of apostolic signs. 2 Corinthians 12, 12. Hallelujah. And there are so many other marks of false uh, ministers. And um, I don't know if you've ever been around any or not, but as we pray that the Lord just keep us alert, hallelujah, that we will escape, hallelujah, all this deceitfulness and madness, hallelujah, these men, women, these people of God, these people, I should say, hallelujah, lead men from God. 
And it's a horrible thing to see. Hallelujah. If you're a, a man or woman of God, it's horrible when you see someone that's claiming, pretending to be a man or woman of God, telling someone to do something that is against the word of God. I've actually seen this and I was just, my mouth was hung open. I'm like, how could you? That's against the word of God. But that's because they were a false prophet, a false man of God. Hallelujah. So they lead people from God. Deuteronomy 13, 1 through 5. They speak presumptuously. Deuteronomy 18, 20. They propagate errors. Psalm 19, 27. Isaiah 3, 12. I know it's a lot to take, but since it's on video, I'm putting it out here. You could always go back and replay and hey, study it even the more. Hallelujah. They have no sense of righteousness. No sense of righteousness. And this is the day we're living in, Zion, where people are calling right, wrong, and wrong, right. Hallelujah. And that's um, Isaiah 5, 20, Jeremiah 11, 14, 32. Uh, they, they're destitute of light. Isaiah 8, 19, and 20. They teach lies. Hallelujah. You have to know this. Hallelujah. Isaiah 9, 14, 16. That's why you have to study to show yourself approved unto God, a workman rightly dividing the word of truth. You have to know the truth so that when you know, hey, you hear something that's an error, you're like, mm -mm, that ain't what the scripture said. You have to know. Hallelujah. Let the church shout hallelujah. Come on, help me pray this morning. Hallelujah. They live like sinners. How many of you see people that are calling themselves saints? I mean, just living like sinners. They got a husband, a wife, a boyfriend, and a girlfriend, three mistresses. I mean, they just showing up in public. They don't care. Hallelujah. Because it's always somebody that's going to follow them. Hallelujah. So they live like sinners. Isaiah 28, 7. They're ignorant of spiritual things. Isaiah 29, 10. Uh, through 11, uh, Jeremiah 2, 8, Hosea 4, 6. I'm giving you this information, Brother Abram, so that you will know, hallelujah, you can share this video so all of your family and friends will know, hallelujah, what thus saith the Lord. Hallelujah, they compromise truth. Ah, hallelujah, Isaiah 30, 10. They're greedy and lazy. Hallelujah. Oh, yes, they are greedy and lazy. Isaiah 56, 10 through 12. Hallelujah. They deal falsely. Uh-huh. Yes. Jeremiah 6, 13. They do not pray. Jeremiah 10, 21. Listen, people. It's time for us to pray. It's time for us to be alert. It's time for us to know that God has a better way. Hallelujah. Trustee Lee, God wants us to be true men and women of God. That's why he's alerting us this morning on this Resurrection Sunday to be alert, to be watchful, and to pray. Hallelujah. God grace us from all of those wicked men and women. Hallelujah that name your name, but in the end, you're going to say, depart from me. I never knew you. Why? Because your work was of iniquity. People right now in today's society, you see it everywhere. They think they can continue in sin. Hallelujah. Go on doing what they do and that they're going to fly off and take off to heaven anyway. That's a deception. It's a lie from the pit of hell. You ought to shout glory for this preacher later telling you the truth on this resurrection morning. Hallelujah. Ah, oh, this is how you know the marks of false ministers. Hallelujah. They destroy and scatter. Hallelujah. Uh, Jeremiah 12, 10, 23, and 1. The Bible says, woe to the shepherd that scatters the sheep. But they don't care. Hallelujah. As many of you Bring people into the church. They're running them out, telling them, oh, get behind the corner. Tell them something, you know, whispering and can up. It is 
happening, Zion. Ask me how I know. It's happening. Hallelujah. Ah, they preach lies. Jeremiah 14, 13, 6. I pray this morning, Lord, help us to be alert. Hallelujah. As you're warning us this morning against false apostles, ministers, hallelujah, workers of iniquity, help us to be alert. Hallelujah. They commit adultery. Jeremiah 23, 14. Hallelujah. It's just a continuous thing. It's their lifestyle. And hey, it's okay. Hallelujah. Because I'm the big preacher from so-and-so and I bring all the money in. They go keep me on staff. Hallelujah. Praying me $1.2 billion a year. Ah, oh, the devil is a lie. That's a false prophet. Hallelujah. They encourage sin. You know, if the shepherd is sinning and practicing sin, well, the people, hallelujah, they figure, well, hey, if he can do it and fly off to heaven, certainly I can do it. But the devil is a lie. It's a deceitful thing that these men and women are doing. Hallelujah. And that's according to Jeremiah 48, 10, Ezra 13, Romans 16, 18. You'll probably never hear this message on uh, hallelujah, Facebook and YouTube. Hallelujah. But you ought to share it right now to your friends and relatives so that they'll know to get out of those churches with all of those false prophets, those false apostles, those false hallelujah uh, prophets. Hallelujah. Run. Hallelujah. Ah, run, run, run. Somebody ought to type in your comment. Run, run, run. Hallelujah. Wake up. Don't be deceived. Hallelujah. And then a little bit more. Hallelujah. They are so deceitful. Hmm. Hallelujah. Oh, yes, they are. And that's according to Jeremiah 48, 10. I'm giving you the scripture. Hallelujah. To back up what I'm saying so that you will know this is the unadulterated word of God. Don't get it twisted. Everything is according to scripture that I'm declaring unto you today. Mm. Hallelujah. They are deceitful. Jeremiah 48, 10. Hallelujah. Ezekiel 13, 10. Romans 16, 18. Ephesians 4, 14. Hallelujah. I'm going on. Colossians 2, 4, 8, 2. Colossians 2, 4 through 8. Hallelujah. 2 Timothy 3, 6 through 13. They're sinful, full of sin, just practicing sin. Like, hey, it's okay. The devil is a lie. It's not okay. Shall we continue in sin that grace may abound? Zion, God forbid. You hear me? God forbid. Ah, they are liars. Hallelujah. Never seen so many lying preachers before in my life. Jeremiah 23, 14, Ezekiel 13, 19, 22. They're selfish. It's all about me. Bring all the money into me. Bring it all into me. I ain't caring about the poor, the hungry, those that are in prison, those in the nursing home. They don't care. Just bring me the money. Hallelujah. Oh, my God. Hallelujah. They're selfish. Ezekiel 34, 2, 3. Hallelujah. They're unfaithful. Ezekiel 34, 4 through 10. They're covetous. Micah 3, 11. They teach doctrines of men. Hmm? Matthew 15, 9. They work iniquity. Matthew 7, 15, 23. Ah, oh, it's tight, but it's right. This is word that's going to take you from earth to glory so that you could identify who these false prophets are. Hallelujah. They're blind. Matthew 15, 14. They cause division. Hallelujah. Rather than trying to keep the church together and work, Hallelujah. Well, we can keep things together. They want to tear down and divide because they're false prophets. Hallelujah. They cause divisions. Romans 16, 17, 1 Corinthians 11, 18. And I'm yet praying. Hallelujah. Philippians 1, 15 through 18. They corrupt the truth. Listen, Zion. They corrupt the truth. That's our uh, one of our theme uh, verses. 2 Corinthians 2, 17. They teach doctrines of devils, 1 Timothy 4. Their conscience is seared like a hot iron. It's seared. That's why they can continue to do those things that are unlawful, those things that are unholy. Hallelujah. Their conscience is seared, 1 Timothy 4, 2. They are proud and perverse. Hallelujah. They do not care if you know. Hallelujah. They're not right. Hallelujah. Because they're thinking some of us are silly enough 
Mother Key to go along with that madness. But the devil is a lie. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. 1 Timothy 6, 3, 21 to uh, 2 Timothy 2, 14 through 18. Titus 1, 10 through 14. You are to share this right now on your page. Hallelujah. So that your family and friends can know there's a difference between right and wrong. There's a difference between holy and unholy. There's a difference, hallelujah, between what God says and what man says. Hallelujah. Ah, uh, they teach damnable heresies. Second Peter 2, 1, uh, 2, and then John, 2 John 7, 11. Hallelujah. They deny Christ. Oh, my God. Yes, they do. 2 Peter, hallelujah, uh, 2, 1. 1 John 4, 1 through 6. They consecrated to destroy Christianity. That's their goal. That's their motive. Why? Because they're henchmen of Satan. That's why they divide. Hallelujah. That's why they destroy. 2 Peter 2, 1. 1 John 4, 1 through 6. I declare you won't hear this probably anywhere else. You need to share this video right now. They're consecrated to destroy Christianity. Hallelujah. Ah, 2 Peter 2, 1 through 19, Jude 4 through 11. Hypocrisy. I mean, they're hypocrites first class. Hallelujah. Ah, that's uh, Matthew 7, 15, uh, 23, 1 through 33, and Luke eleven thirty five. 35. I tell you, Satan inspires. His ministers, listen, Zion, to imitate Christianity and even do miracles. So don't get all excited about a ministry, hallelujah, on TV, Facebook, on YouTube, doing miracles, hallelujah, because Satan has his ministers doing miracles also. You got to know the truth, hallelujah, so that you can be set free and so that you can be delivered. Don't be deceived. Hallelujah. Ah, the Bible is right. Hallelujah. And um, that's Matthew 24, 24. I know what I'm telling you. I want you to know that it's according to scripture. I'm just not talking out the side of my neck as the boys in the hood say. Hallelujah. Where are his ministers who are transformed as ministers of righteousness? Where are you? Where are they? They all around. Hallelujah. Oh, yes. Would they be in churches or outside of them? They're in them and they're outside of them. You have to know the difference. Hallelujah. Oh, praise the Lord. Hallelujah. Ah, the Bible is right and somebody's wrong. I declare our prayer this morning is warning against false apostles, ministers, hallelujah, deceitful workers. Hallelujah. And we have to know that according to the word, hallelujah, that God hates this, hallelujah. And they're going to be beat with many stripes, hallelujah. Ah, we're going to move a little bit further, hallelujah, because I know you had a whole lot, hallelujah. You don't have two uh, resurrection meals already and ain't even ate no physical food. How about that? Let the church shout hallelujah. Ah, the Bible is right and somebody's wrong. Mm. We love the Lord, hallelujah, because he first loved us. And we're so glad that on this resurrection morning that we can say with truth that he lives and he lives on the inside of us. Hallelujah. We know that he's real in our life. Hallelujah. And we know, hallelujah, that he's watching over us protecting us, and he's given us this word of prayer right now so that we could be alert against all of these false prophets that are going out in the land today. Hallelujah. Satan is the arch deceiver at attempting to ruin men. You have to know that, Zion. Don't take it lightly. Hallelujah. It may be my relative. It may be your relative. Hallelujah. But whoever it is, you got to know, no, 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 that ain't right. Kick that on out. Hallelujah. Ah, they give you lying promises. According to Genesis 3, 5, 
hallelujah, resting, resting the scriptures, hallelujah, Matthew 4, 6, hallelujah, cunning plans, 2 Corinthians 2, 11, and appearing as angels of light. This is what you got to be aware of, Zion. I remember people were, were uh, saying to me, hallelujah, oh, Val, how can you say that? Oh, he sold this. He sold that. I never seen him do this or that. Well, honey, I'm not a liar because I am a true preacher, pastor of God. Hallelujah. Oh, yes, I'm a true one. Hallelujah. And you will know them by the fruit they wear. They bear. Hallelujah. But see, sometimes people will portray themselves as the angel of the light all around you to win your confidence. Hallelujah. But when you go home with them, you'll find out they're nothing, hallelujah, but a devil, hallelujah, as the Bible says, a wolf in sheep clothing. Let the church shout hallelujah. I know it's tight, but it's right. And if you listen, hallelujah, and if you apply this to your life, hallelujah, you will be healed, delivered, and set free. Hallelujah. Praise ye the Lord. The Bible is clear. Hallelujah. Mm. that there's going to be judgment, hallelujah, according to works. See, no one, <coughs> excuse me, no one, you, me, any false prophet, any false teacher, deceitful worker is getting away with anything. No one, <coughs> excuse me, hallelujah. Ah, because the Bible is clear, hallelujah. And it says every man, hallelujah, every man is going to be judged according to his works. You're just not going to get away doing anything that you desire to do under the name of a Jesus. Because it's not the Jesus of Christ, the son of the living God. It's not him, hallelujah. Oh, you're not getting away, hallelujah. The Bible is saying, and we're yet praying, Zion. Come on, help me pray, because this is a tight one. Hallelujah. According to Psalm 62, 12. Also unto thee, O Lord, belongeth mercy, for thou rendereth to every man according to his work. Hallelujah. So for all the false teachers, prophets, apostles, pastors, honey, God got your number. God is not mocked. But whatsoever man saw it, you're going to reap that. Hallelujah. Ah, uh, Jeremiah 17, 10 declares, I, the Lord, search the heart. I try the reins, even to give every man according to his ways and according to the fruit of his doings. See, God judges on the heart. We the ones on the outside trying to dress somebody up from head to toe. But God knows your heart. You can fool some of the people some of the time, but you can't fool God because he knows your heart, Mother Williams. God knows our hearts. Hallelujah. Ah, and the Bible is clear. Matthew 16, 27 on this great resurrection morning as we continue to pray. Hallelujah. Lord, help us. Hallelujah. To note the warnings against false apostles, false teachers, ministers, preachers, pastors, hallelujah. They're fake, they're false, they're hypocrites, hallelujah. Oh my God, yes, Lord, help us, hallelujah. That's a good thing to type in the comment section. Lord, help us, hallelujah, because we need to be alert and watchful as we pray. Hallelujah. Matthew 16, 27, as we pray according to the word, for the son of man shall come in the glory of his father with his angels. God is coming back. Jesus Christ, he's clacking the crowds. He's coming. And then he shall reward every man according to his works. Hmm? You think you're getting away with it? You're not. You're not getting away with it, Mr. Miss False Prophet. You're not getting away with it, Mr. and Ms. False Minister. You're not getting away with it. For God sees, he knows the very intent of your heart, and you're not getting away with it. Hallelujah. 
2 Corinthians 5, 10 declares, as we pray for, we must all appear before the judgment seat of Christ, that everyone may receive the things done in his body according to that he have done, whether it be good or bad. Hallelujah. I often said, I've not, I done enough bad when I was in the world. I don't need to come into the church to try to do bad. Uh-uh, no. Oh, no. Hallelujah. I want to do all the good that I could do. Why? Because I'm a true prophet of God. Hallelujah. I leave all that false stuff to the false prophets. Hallelujah. Ah, those that want to commit adultery, fornication, drinking, drugs, and smoking. Hallelujah. Doping. Hallelujah. Swinging. Hallelujah. Lying, cheating, stealing. Leave that to the false prophets. Because we are true people of God. Let the church shout hallelujah. Ah, 1 Peter 1, 17. We pray according to your word. And if you call on the Father, who without respect of persons judges according to every man's work, pass the time of your sojourning here in fear. God hears and God knows. Hallelujah. And it's time for us. Hallelujah, Zion to call upon the name of the Lord. Call upon him while he's near. Hallelujah. First Peter 1 Peter 1.17, and my time is out, Woo! and I'm going to let you go. We pray, and if you call on the Father, who without respect of persons judges according to every man's work, pass the time of your journey here in fear. Hallelujah. That's the uh, scripture we read. Revelations 20.12 declares, and I saw the dead, small and great, stand before God. And the books were open. There are some books up there, Zion. Hallelujah. And another book was open. Hallelujah. Which is the book of life. And the dead were judged out of those things which were written in the books according to their works. Let your work speak for you in the gates. Hallelujah. I am so grateful on this resurrection Sunday. Hallelujah. That I can say, hallelujah, as I was listening, one of my uh, nieces have shared with me a video of my mother, hallelujah, who's gone from labor to reward. Hallelujah. In January 2019, was singing her favorite song. Hallelujah. Look where the Lord brought me from. Hallelujah. He brought me out of darkness into this marvelous light. Hallelujah. He brought me from a mighty long way. Hallelujah. Grandmother, mother was singing that song. Hallelujah. I'm going to post it one of these days because she was singing to the glory of God. Why? Because her work spoke for her in the gate. She didn't keep it no secret. She was saved and sanctified. Sometimes she was denied a lot of things because she was saved and sanctified. Oh, but the reward. Hallelujah, that she'll get. Hallelujah, the reward that she'll receive. And Revelations 22, 12 declares, and behold, ha, watch, be alert, behold, I come quickly and my reward is with me. You won't have time to go to the altar and go, ta, 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 hallelujah, hallelujah. You ain't got time for all of that. That's why now, today, while it's called today, you need to be praying, seeking the face of God, consecrating yourselves now. Revelation 22 declares, declares, and behold, I come quickly, and my reward is with me to give every man, every man, that includes you and me, according as his work shall be. I tell you, judgment is coming. And what will your reward be think about it you got time to make a change you got time to make a difference in what you want your reward to be so today while it is called today hallelujah those that know hallelujah that you're not in tune with the word of god your family is not in tune with the word of god you need to share this video so that they'll be able while it is called today to get it right. Hallelujah. Ah, the Bible is clear. Hallelujah. God's word is certain. Hallelujah. 
as Apostle Paul, he, he he's just trying to help some folks today. Hallelujah. And he wants you to know, hallelujah, that there is, hallelujah, a God mm, that sits high and looks low. Hallelujah. You, you read it. You heard it. The books. He's taking account. Hallelujah. Of the things that we're doing in our bodies. Ask the Lord. Lord, are you pleased with me? Lord, are you pleased with me? Well, let us pray for our president. Thank you, Jesus. Let us pray, hallelujah, for his cabinet. They're in the midst of some major decisions, and we must pray for those that have authority over us, according to the scripture. Hallelujah. We pray for Jerusalem because the Bible says pray for Jerusalem. And we pray for all the nations surrounding. We pray for our elected officials, the essential workers. We pray for children. Hallelujah. That have been abandoned. Hallelujah. That have been trafficked. We pray for the poor and needy, the afflicted, the abused. We pray for wisdom. Lord, grant us wisdom. Hallelujah. That we'll be able to discern those things that are right. Those things that are pure those things that are holy according to your word. Hallelujah. And we thank you, Lord, this morning for warning us against false apostles and false ministers. We pray for marriages. Hallelujah. We pray for family. We pray, oh God, for uh, joy, for the spirit of heaviness and mourning. We pray for all of you that are going through crisis right now with those that are sick among you, family members, Hallelujah, we pray God touch them, heal and deliver them. He said by his stripes, we're already healed. He knows how to manifest his glory. All you have to do today on this resurrection Sunday is only believe. Hallelujah, if he could raise up Lazarus, hallelujah, that's been in the grave, hallelujah, for days, hallelujah, ah, show sure up. Mm, he could raise you up off your bed of affliction. Hallelujah. Ah, we pray for our willing workers, the caregivers. Mm. We pray for those in the nursing facilities, those that are incarcerated, all of our veterans, the backsliders, souls to come on into the kingdom. Now is the time. Come on. <coughs> Excuse me while the blood is running warm in your veins. Labors for the hospital. Harvest. We pray for all of our gospel troopers. Hallelujah for all of our partners in ministry. We pray and plead the blood of Jesus. <coughs> Excuse me. Ah, of every situation, circumstance in your life. Hallelujah. The devil hates the blood. And we plead the blood of Jesus. Hallelujah. I declare you need to put that in the chat. You need to put that in the comment section. The blood of Jesus. Mm, bye bye, yah. Glory. The blood. Mm, the cleansing blood of Jesus. Hallelujah. We pray, oh God, that God continue to keep you. Hallelujah. Rest, rule, and abide with you. Hallelujah. And we pray, oh God, for those that know not the Lord and the pardon of their sins. If you just pray along with me, hallelujah. As we say, hallelujah, this prayer to lead us into salvation. Lord, I believe you died to save me. I believe you are the son of the living God. I ask that you forgive me of all of my sins mm. and accept me as your child. I ask you to be my Lord and my Savior and help me as I walk in the newness of life. Renew, receive all of me, Lord. In Jesus' name, I pray. Hallelujah. You pray with sincerity, and I guarantee you there's going to be a change in your life. Hallelujah. And it is our prayer that God will lead you to a spirit-filled church. Hallelujah. Where there are people of God that are striving to do those things that are right. Hallelujah that are striving to live holy, hallelujah, and that God will bless you as you're baptized in his name and he'll fill you with his Holy Spirit. That's going to help you to live that clean, consecrated, separated life. I declare I love you this morning and the blood of Jesus, hallelujah. I pray that you had a wonderful Good Friday, that you, hallelujah, 
supped, hallelujah, with the family of Zion, that you had your communion and that you continue to remember the Lord Jesus Christ. For it was he that died on Calvary's cross for you and for me. And I'm so glad this morning that as we close out this prayer, hallelujah, it is our desire, hallelujah, and it is our focus. Lord, help us. Help us to be alert as we are warned against false apostles, false ministers, false prophets, false teachers, hallelujah, false pastors. Help us, Lord, to be alert. This is our prayer this morning. This is our focus. And Lord, we thank you for this and all things. In your name, Jesus Christ, the Son of the living God, we say thank you, Lord. Amen, amen, amen. God bless you, Facebook family. It's tight, but it's right. Hallelujah. And I just pray the Lord continue to bless you and grace you. Hallelujah. As you continue to do those things that are pleasing to him. And as you continue to seek the Lord on this Resurrection Sunday. Hallelujah. If you're one of the ones, hallelujah, that the Lord, hallelujah, whose life he's resurrected, hallelujah, you ought to shout hallelujah in the chat. He saved me. Hallelujah. And I'm so glad that the Lord saved me. And I'm so glad that the Lord allowed you to chime in with us this morning. I pray for all of you. Amen. We'll be streaming uh, from now until further notice on our Gospel Truth Apostolic Ministry page. Share, share, share so that the word can get out. Hallelujah. This is where we are. Hallelujah. And we encourage you on this Resurrection Sunday to give as the Lord have blessed you. Hallelujah. Give to this ministry. Hallelujah. This is a good place to sow good ground. Hallelujah. And we pray that the Lord's blessings continue to be upon you as you continue to know that it's high time to pray with Pastor Val. I want you to know this morning that I love you. I appreciate you. And I pray God's best be yours until we meet again. Happy Resurrection Sunday. Mwah. Shalom. Bye-bye.